All right, so you worked with Bill Murray on Broadway, didn't you? Oh, no. Okay, here's what happened. I did a, after the- World Trade Center. World Trade Center, I did a play. Bill Murray was doing a play with Sigourney Weaver. It was more, it's more of a reading kind of play, but it was quite powerful. Mm -hmm. It was called The Guys. Right. And- I got a call um, saying, because um, uh, Susan's husband, Jim, was a theater guy. And I got a call saying, um, we'd like you to come in and replace Bill. He's got to leave. Oh. And would you come in and replace Bill? And um, um, I was like, yeah, sure. And then Susan Saron came in with me to replace Sigourney. Um, I'm not sure. So you're not sure you're actually, you never really, you never worked with him. I've never worked with Bill. I would have loved to have, but I mean, I, even now I know he's in trouble and shit, but whatever. Yeah. People get in trouble. Um, <laughs> people get in trouble for bad actions. Sometimes. People get in trouble. Look, I don't, I, listen, here's the thing about, um, reporting and hearsay. Um, I find it not to be particularly reliable. There's two sides to the story. I'm not ever saying um, if there are complaints from women about being harassed, I take that seriously. I, I had heard that, but I'd always heard it in this kind of like affectionate, curmudgeon way that Bill was a bit grumpy. He's also in one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Lost in Translation. Oh yeah, I love that movie, and I think his performance is incredible. Brilliant. No, no doubting, he's a brilliant actor. Yeah, but I had heard, I had heard he was a bit curmudgeonly and all that stuff, and I was like, ah, whatever. Richard Dreyfuss supposedly said he was a monster on What About Bob? A monster. I, 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 I don't, I don't. I, I, I've, <laughs> I've worked with Richard. Was and Richard I, a monster? Dr Dr no, he's great. Right? No, no, he's the most highly energetic, enthusiastic, yeah, actor, actor friendly guy. I really enjoyed working with him. Did you have you ever worked with any? And you don't have to say, but brief, just any assholes, any guys like that are big stars that you're like this son of a bitch. I'm just going to do my part. I'm going to do what I do and fuck him, or fuck her, or whatever it is. No, no, no. I replaced somebody who was an asshole. And I heard about what, <laughs> what an asshole he was. I'm not saying who it was. Um, but I have never worked with someone that, I've worked with some difficult people. Like I, I worked with, at that time, he had a reputation, and I'll say because I love him, Val Kilmer, right? And I worked with Val. And this is the true story. On the first day that I meet Val, he comes out and he's wearing, he's got like this pristine white T-shirt that says, uh, what was that movie he did with De Niro? Uh, uh, heat? Hey, no, he's got a beautiful white heat T-shirt and he's got a cup of coffee. And I'm standing there talking to the director and he comes up and I've got like this kind of like, I don't know, like nylon uh, jacket or something on. And he comes up, he's got a cup of coffee. He puts his arm around me and starts pouring the coffee down the front of my jacket while I'm talking to the director. And I just look at it and I just get it and I just wipe it all over his nice white t-shirt. <laughs> and that set up a good relationship. Really? Yeah, I didn't get upset. I just wiped the coffee back on his t-shirt. And and <laughs> I think a lot of people, and he, he probably would have even said he was having, Touché. A, pretty, having a pretty difficult time at that time. Yeah. And he, there was some big blow ups on that set. And, but me personally, I didn't have a problem with him. That's awesome. And, and you know, he would come into my trailer and he would say things to me like, now listen, man, I want you to um, see these rings. He had all these big rings on. He's like, I think that you should wear this ring in this scene because it represents X, Y, and Z, and blah, blah, blah. And now, what I know is, the shot we're about to do is the three of us standing on a hill in silhouette against the sun. So I go, give me the ring. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> no one gives a shit. No one's going no to see, see it. It made him happy.